Grab some masking tape or sticky tape and tape up the screen so that you don't get glass everywhere. This isn't mandatory, however, if the screen's particularly cracked, it's much easier than having glass go all through your fingers and your workbench as well. Secondly, take your pentalobe screwdriver, which is this small five-pointed one, and remove these two screws just here. Now I'm putting my screws in, that's it, an ice cube tray. Now why an ice cube tray? Because you probably have one at home. There's no point in me showing you a specialized technical device for holding them. Just grab an ice cube tray out of the fridge or freezer, stick your screws in there, and each screw goes into a subsequent little hole. And that way, it will help you keep track of them all. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the other screw here now. And as you can see, I'm putting it in the second screw hole. This way, when you do the whole repair in reverse, you can see ice, this screw goes next, this screw goes next. This will help you a lot and save you a great many headaches. Next, with your phone this way, slide the back up and remove the back cover. The next thing you want to do is remove the battery, which involves undoing this screw here and then removing this clip. Now, one thing to watch is don't lose this little small part here when you lift it up. So I'm just gonna start by taking this screw here and again, putting that into my ice cube tray under the third slot. Next, get your small pry tool and put it under this corner here. Only use here, it's nice and safe for it. And very gently lift it up and that should now bend back just like that. Now one thing which a lot of the videos don't show clearly is that there's a small piece of metal just here. You need to keep this one. This basically goes back on there at the end and comes out. So again, on my cataloging system here, I place that in with that screw so that you know that that screw goes to that small piece of pent metal there. Next up, you want to remove this battery. So taking this little plastic here and lifting it. Okay, you need a bit of pressure here. And try it a few times and lift it like that. Now sometimes they don't come out. Now if that's the case, I'll just slot that one back in there. Take your pry tool and wedge it against the metal here or here. Now the motherboard is very fragile but has some metal plating along here. So place your metal pry tool under here and wedge up ever so slightly. And then use your fingers to wedge it from the edge. That's if the battery doesn't come out, which is probably one in five, don't come out very easily. So put your battery over to the side as well. Lastly, take this little tab and just stick it to the glue residue there and that way you won't have that in the way while you're doing the repair. Next up, we're going to remove a metal clap here with two screws in it and then fold this piece of cable back here. So, I always go clockwise around my screws just to catalogue them nicely. I'm going to remove this screw here and place it in my ice cube tray. My second screw in a clockwise direction, also going in my ice cube tray as well. Now, after that, you're going to have a small metal piece here. Just pry that one off and again, stick that in with the metal tray. So you can see here that if I was to reverse this, I come to this part, put the metal on, put that screw on the right hand side, that screw on the left hand side, going anti-clockwise this time. After that's done, just use your small pry tool and lift up that cap very gently. Make sure you don't press down on the motherboard, just lift under and lift vertically. That one just bends back like that. Now you will get some tearing and ripping along here, but don't worry too much. Now one of the gotchas to watch on the iPhone repair is that if you pull it too hard, you can get a very small slit in the cable here where you tear the cable. So just watch that you don't do that and be quite gentle there. Another thing to watch is that right down here, I'll get my other tool out so you can see, there's a very, very small blue piece just there. You can only just see, it's actually blue. And you need to be very careful with that. If that breaks off, you can use some soldering iron and a solder, solder to fix it. However, it's a bit messy when you get to that point. So make sure you don't break that little piece off there. Also, when I said to make sure you be very careful around here, you'll see that there's a lot of these really small half a millimeter by millimeter jumpers along the motherboard there. They connect circuitry together and try not, to, try not to break them. If you press down on the motherboard and pry off the motherboard, you can snap them off very easily at which point things get very messy and you've probably broken your, your phone or at least one of the parts thereof. So just be very careful around all these little micro-soldered jumpers along here. 
Next up, we want to remove the Wi-Fi cap. This piece of metal here is the Wi-Fi cap and gives you your Wi-Fi signal. To do that, simply remove the five screws. Again, I recommend a clockwise direction so it's easy to remember how to undo them down the track. Now this top one here, that one is in fact a Wi-Fi signal cable. Now, I call it a cable because that, your Wi-Fi signal actually goes through that screw into the motherboard. Now, it's very important to have that screw there. It's quite a long one, quite a big one. So definitely don't lose that one. Some of the screws you can do without in the iPhone. However, that particular screw, you most definitely want because without that, your Wi-Fi will not work properly. I'm going to remove this little cap here. Now, it gets a bit stuck because if you can see on the video, there's a small little clip just here and here. And that actually, like a C, comes around it and tucks underneath that piece of metal there. Comes around underneath that piece of metal there. So what I do, I get my fingers and you just put your finger under this end of it and this end of it. Give it a bit of a jiggle. Push down a bit so, and it comes out. So what that was, was jiggle a bit and then push down and around. Down and around because you can see there's a little small C style clip underneath there. Again, I'll show you my screwdriver set. You can see now that when I get to this part here, there's the screw in there, second screw, that's the main screw, and just enter clockwise, and my parts are good to go. That piece is off there. Now the next thing you want to do is use your pry tool to very gently remove one, two, three, four, five, six little tabs. You need to be very careful here because again, these small things here, they can break off very, very easily. So I'll show you where I do this. I place my pry tool under this corner of this camera and I lift that up gently. Now the camera won't come out yet, but that's okay. Place your, your screwdriver, uh, uh, pry tool under that corner of that cable. Lift it up. And again, under this corner of the next one. Lift it up as well which point the camera will come out and put your camera also in your ice cube tray. Now these three you need to be very careful with because there's one just here that if you break that little piece, metal piece there off, your front camera will freeze when you try and load it up. So take your pry tool under this corner and lift it up very gently. Okay, and don't pry off the motherboard, just underneath it and vertically upwards. And that's all three loose. Next up, there is a small connector here which attaches to the ringer. Now this is in fact your signal because the signal comes in from around the outside of the phone to this screw, through that screw there, through this cable here and plugs into your motherboard here. So if you don't have a signal at the end of your iPhone repair, the issue is with that plug just there. So, very gently, pry that one up. Not too much force there at all. The last step before removing the motherboard is to turn the phone on its side and use your SIM removal tool to remove the SIM card from your iPhone. Again, SIM card goes in the drawer with everything else.